Good morning, everyone. Or evening. You know what I should do with these things? Good evening, everyone. <laughs> it's time what? for a really big... Uh, unboxing. Unboxing. Retro Junk Box unboxing. You've been hearing about it, and now you get to see it. If you're not a All part right. of the Diamond Elite Club, now you get to see it. All right. So this box has gone... All right, how about this? You describe the box, and I'll get set up. Yeah, because, um, you know what? Let's do it. Because if you were following along, you know that you could visit okay. there we go. the uh, the website, cartoonretrocast.com slash retrojunkbox, and it would tell you exactly where the box was at at any moment in time. And right now it's in beautiful downtown White Rock, New Mexico. White Rock. I hope this isn't super loud. It's pretty loud, but it's alright. All the crinkly so, crinkles. It was projected okay. to go sixteen thousand seven hundred and sixty four miles. It actually traveled by you know, as the crow flies, seventeen thousand five hundred and ten miles. Ooh. Oh my god, I that's, see hair in here. I don't know if you can see that. It's nearly it's getting a little circumnavigated the planet. Okay, you ready for me to open this up? I got gotcha. you. You're ready to go. Yeah, let's do it. What's that blue oh. stuff right there? Some kind of drawing? Looks like somebody spilled paint on it. it looks like Wu-Tang. It's definitely not a drawing. Careful, man. You might unleash some demons. Oh, shit. Look, I cut this thing. Oh, uh, right. see? Never open with a knife. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Let's see what we got here. First of all. Bumper sticker. My child is an honor student at Screeching Weasel High School. I don't know what that is. Is that Roger Rabbit reference? Oh, yeah. It is Roger Rabbit. Okay. All right. Cool. We got a Excalibur comic book. Comics. Got another comic book here. Uh oh. Something. Whatever. What happened? When I ever, whenever I see those Valiant comics are great. They're like chock full of old video game ads. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, here's one right here. There's one on the back. You just turned over Alien Three for the Game Boy. And and Alien Three for the Game Boy. Like I. And... I, I I have a bunch of those Zion comics, and they all have Mega Man advertising, like full page Mega Man ads. They make great like so, pinups. There's a uh, wrestling. This is uh, Future Force. I can guarantee you that if we do a round two, these will be going back in there. Yeah, comics are. Action comics. I like comics, but you can't get single issues. Here's one. There you go. Alien Three on the SNES. Check that out. Awesome. The Adventures of Superman. Okay. Another The Adventures of Superman. Vision. I tell you what, I'm just going to say there's a bunch of comics in here. That's pretty I, cool, That's though. no joke. That's a bunch of comics. Storm. Check hey, it out. Does that, does that have you the know holographic what this is? cover? Ninja Gaiden, Tiger Handheld. Uh, can you beat me? Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Oh, my God. I see something cool in here. Okay. Comic. Comic. Com I'm actually, I'm actually going to keep I'm gonna keep some of these comics. I'll be honest. Uh, and then this is actually a graphic novel. G.I. Joe. Snake Eyes. That's what, that's, I call, that's, what I like I call, that's what I call my penis. Okay. What's this? This is a Fraggle Rock DVD. <laughs> Poor <laughs> Fraggle Rock. This is a Skylander card. All right. I thought Skylanders, is it? It is. Skylanders. Oh, you just, oh, I thought I had a code on the back. I was going to say you gave it away. Oh, oops. Oh, this is pretty cool. It is a John Kreese action figure card. Oh, but it's reaction, so it's the modern reissues. Uh, is it? Yeah. It, it's funny because somebody opened it and took the thing out, but it also was unpunched oh yeah there's like um i got a couple of those i, I have uh i think eric low eric t sent me a couple of those but they were um back to the future figures so dumb and dumberer <laughs> <laughs> oh boy i actually have not seen dumb and dumberer okay it's I've only okay seen the first one and the third one okay and here's one for you jeremy Look, ultimate warrior baby who wants to see the 25-inch pythons? <laughs> Look at that. Arr! 
Good God. Did he used to say that? I don't even know. That's exactly what he said. He sounded just like him. <laughs> okay, what's this? Racing Superstar. Is that Kyle Petty? Or Richard Petty? It is Richard Petty. Good old Dick Petty. Dick Petty. Dick Petty. That's what I called uh, my move, my uh, sexual move in high school. Mint on cards. Somebody originally bought this at Kmart for four, four forty-eight. Right there. They four over. They overpaid. It's good old Dick Petty though. It's pretty cool. I might give this to my kid so he can tear it open. I'll say, hey baby, come on, let's do some Dick Petty. I need to start putting stuff on the floor. Okay, let's see what else we got here. That's a lot of stuff in that box. <laughs> I put this in here. Did you really? I put that in here. I made it back. This was there was a Metroid sticker. It was like connected. So Lil Eric T took the Metroid sticker, put this straight back in here, Good and then it went him. all the way seventeen thousand miles back to me. <laughs> Good for him. He didn't take all the sticker. He could have took all the. Oh, stickers. this is cool right here. Animal. Yeah. Lifting up a thousand pounds. That's two er, me animal. That's me two thousand pounds. There's two of them. Well, usually when it has stuff like that, it's a thousand pounds for the whole thing. It's all connected. That's all I'm saying. That's a weight lift pro tip. Science fiction anthology. Uh, I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna keep this and read like, this. Look at this. I thought I said uh, George R. R. Martin on the cover. It says jo Gordon R. Dickerson. Oh, it's close. Gordon R. George R. And Eric Harrison. And F you so mama. Seventy-five cents though. Seventy-five cents when it first came out. That's a good yeah. deal. That's a good deal. It's a thick magazine. Seventy-five cents. All right. Let's see what else we got here. You see anything that catches your eye? I see some Lego in there. Or something. Oh, see it. All right. I got a Tim Belcher, R. H. P. Card. <laughs> What year is that from? Like 1998 or something? 1992 Leaf. Wow, Leaf. I forgot about Leaf. Uh, Leaf was the best. Well, it was well, not as good as Upper Deck, but Leaf yeah, was okay. Yeah, Upper Deck and Bowman or Bowman or whatever. All right, this kind of got crushed, but uh, Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls. Autographed rookie card. I'm sure that those aren't actually that expensive either. Who the f It is Upper Deck, though. Upper Deck. 1992. Uh, we got here. Let's let's see if we can do this. You tell me who this is. Oh my God! Is it from '92 as well? That could be anybody. <laughs> this is from. That's Ryan. Yep, '92. Ryan Sandberg. Nope. Paul. That just says Submenimer. What is going on? <laughs> he was a cubby man. Cubbies. I don't know anything about baseball. Here's another Skylanders card. Now I know uh, Trigger is, Happy. Yeah, this is the 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 gem right here. Michael Jordan, right? He's on fire. A golf card. <laughs> Michael Jordan golf. It looks like NBA Jam style fire. Okay. We got a little Tetris going on. I actually have this, so this is going back in the box if we do it again. I just Somebody bought, bought it for 69 bucks at Tried and True. Today, I I picked up a copy of Tetris on the Game Boy. Yeah, fun game, though. Small they world. They just made a billion of them, but yeah. yeah. Here's some sort of comic book card. That's pretty cool, though. It's like... Oh, I can see what kind of camera you're using. It reflected it. Yeah? Is it the same exact camera that you have? It is. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see what else we got here. This is a... I don't even know. What is this? That's a watch. Is it a Lego watch? It's a Lego watch. It doesn't say Lego. I said well, shorts. Oops. Well, it's not a Lego watch. It's a Lego brand... Or a built Lego compatible building block watch. Sweet. Okay. Let me try to... That box it. looks big. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of crap in here. I don't remember right. it being that big. Uh, oh, there shit. There he is. I think this is it. Yeah, you just got to get a new Prince. bubble. You know, because he has the Cobra Kai tattoo. What's, uh, what is, is, uh, what's for the weak there, Mike? What's what, what do you give weak people? Mercy? No, no mercy for the weak. Wait, what? No, I give mercy to the weak. No, no mercy. No, right. no mercy. <laughs> right. They don't I don't deserve give mercy. It. I don't give mercy. Another Skylanders card. They don't deserve it. I actually had this toy 
I had that friggin' toy when I, I was. Is a that kid. the '90s version? It is the '90s Wolverine yeah. with the retractable claws. I can't. I can't get it to stick. Did, or is that know. the Secret Wars? Is that and Secret you Wars? Go, Yo. Hey Is that Secret Wars? Check the date. On his leg or whatever. Ninety-one. Yep. Okay. That's the one I had. I remember it. I could see what looks like to be the Emperor Palpatine in there. Here's the, I don't know, Lego that, penguin. No, nah, that's the, is that Lego? It yeah, it's Lego. Yeah, but it's not an actual Lego. Oh, it's a McDonald's toy or something. It is. Yeah, McDee's. Mickey B's. Okay. Uh oh, oh, oh! Can you see that? Ew! <laughs> Gross. Grossing me out, man. Oh, I was eating. Oh, you're touching it. Don't. Oh, look, at John don't, Grease. Don't eat that, Mike. Don't. Oh, don't eat that. Oh, he's eating it. Oh, uh, look at the John Grease thing. Uh, we thought it was just a card. We thought some schmo put the card in. He put it in here, and it just broke apart. No, it. It, it looks like it. They tried. It, it probably fell apart on its own. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Is they were probably like. Man, I put that shit in mint on card. And then why the did they wrap those eight. cassette tapes? Why? Why are they wrapped? Oh. Oh, look we'll who's oh, look. There's cassette tapes. Open the cassette tapes. You'll see it. Hold on with the cassette tapes. Hold I know on. what it is. It's Beast Man. Yeah, that's the new He-Man though. That's new He-Man. Two thousand three. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm saving the cassette tapes for later, so I'm just gonna put them aside for now. We'll take a look at those later. This is a uh, Magic Johnson. Ram Man. This is the original, I think. No, that's new Ram Man too. So, I got. I had oh, you the. You know what this is? This is 2003 McDonald's Ram Man. I had the original Ram McDonald's. Man. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. And my, that, my friend, is not the original <laughs> Ram Man. <laughs> that ain't no Ram Man. This, oh, yeah, this is the original He-Man. Yeah, Isn't that what he looked like? That's the original He-Man. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I don't even know what this is, but I have this now. Hey, back Music it up a little bit. Back it up, back it up. Music for the Miracle. I don't know what that is. Various Do you know what that is? Okay, uh, oh, I put this in here. It's Terminator. It's going to go back in because I don't want it. It's pretty cool, though. <laughs> if it made the entire round, I think it's safe to retire. You think so? Into the garbage. <laughs> this is like uh, Disney Infinity Darth Vader. There you go. I don't know what I'll use that for. Another, whoever put stuff in here liked Michael Jordan, I'll tell you. It's, well, it, could, it literally could be anybody because everybody liked Michael Jordan. There's a Jordy LaForge communicator. That's a pin, right? So you're now like, Beep. if you need to sneak yeah. into the um, Star Trek base, you just it's say, oh, legit. I'm, I'm LaForge. And like, oh, okay, it's LaForge. Let him in. Let him through. Carnage. This is another toy that I had, by the way. And I also had like Spider-Man Spider ones like this. Spider-Man. It's the early 90s Marvel toys. Starscream. I got one of those. Oh, that's a Funko Pops or whatever. I tell you about the vinyl uh, this figures. This is actually from. It's like this those. Is probably though. from that uh, loot crate. Yeah. Because I have one like this, but it's not this one. I got one like that. It's like. Uh, I think it's Bumblebee. Oh shit! Saving the best for last in here. Okay, got some <laughs> Donkey Kong cards and Home Alone two cards. Ah. Uh, <laughs> did they make it the whole round? I think it might have. Yep. The Donkey Kong cards are awesome. They got stickers on them. Some of them. These are like scratch off things. If you go through it there, there might be a sticker one in there. Sticker that doesn't stick anymore. Well, you stick it on. React okay. Computer. I don't know what the hell's going on here, but it's a new in package Buffy the Vampire Slayer collectible card game. It's like um, Magic the Gathering. What happened. And um, I don't know what this is. Let me see. Slow it, lower it down. Open it up. It's hard to... Oh, it's, it's, it's instant AIDS. It's what? Instant AIDS. 
Instant AIDS? Yeah. Oh, it's the parts of a Game Boy Advance or something. Oh, <laughs> you made this. No, I didn't 3D print that. Somebody 3D printed it. Uh, that's wild. These are definitely 3D. Who, who did? Who 3D printed this? It wasn't me. My oh. th I think my 3D pr printer was broken when that went through. And you usually don't 3D print in black. You don't like black. I got black. I got I got black and white. That's the only two colors are I have. Are you sure this wasn't you? I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Here's the gun for the star screen. Unless I was drunk. Okay, now high. this. I don't know what's going on here, but this is a monster. Oh, that's one of the so, worst controllers sorry, ever made. Jaguar controller. I like Mint that box. Card. New in box. Mint on card. Unpunched. Unpu uh, it is punched, actually. Oh. I'll throw this up on my... This is pretty cool. I don't have an Atari Jag. Well, you know what? I'm going to put this back in the box, I think. Yeah, don't, um... Don't buy Because I don't need Jaguar. it. <laughs> I don't even... That was in there for a while, I think. I don't even know. <laughs> is there another part to that? There's no other part to that. You're missing something else down there in the far corner. There it is. This one? Yeah, what is that? That's the wing for Starscream. Oh, uh, okay. So there's only one wing? Okay, this thing... That's neat. This Love thing that. looks pretty cool. This is Micro Machine Aircraft Carrier? Travel City? They were the little cities you could you could put them together and make... Like, you could buy a bunch of little pieces, or a bunch of little sets. I always wanted that right there, the plane. And then combine it. I had um, a bunch of those. I remember going on a spending spree. Somebody, oh, shit. This is, like, sealed. Somebody must have messed up and gave me some money, because I went and bought, like, ten of those things. Well, it was only originally five ninety nine. Yep. So somebody must have gave me, like, 60 bucks. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep that. NBA Live '95 for the Sega Genesis, greatest game of all time. It's a pretty good game. Do you want to guess? Do you want to guess who this guy is? Uh, Scotty Jordan. <laughs> Scotty Jordan. Scotty McJordan pants. All right, I don't know what this is. Those are called compact discs. Compact discs. As opposed to the larger, regular discs. Audio Slave? I don't know if... Ugh, that's do you your, know what that that's is? That's your Soundgarden Rage Against a Machine mashup. Soundgarden Black Hole Shared Words Again. That's all I know. Okay, and then there's this one. Pearl Jim 10. Pearl Jim? Did I know any of these songs? I you know, know that one right there. Jeremy is Jeremy. You know every one of those songs. I've probably heard them. Then we got a Halloween. Halloween, the original Halloween, the best the original one. Original Halloween on VHS cassette. And E.T. Wouldn't it be funny if there were pornos in here? <laughs> nah, it's E.T. That sucks. Okay. All right, and then that that's it. And then the journal. Should we should we read some excerpts? Yeah, clear out that box though. Get rid of that box. Get rid of the box. There we go. All right, I here was, we go. I'm gonna getting, put this up. I was getting claustrophobic. Okay. All right. So it says okay. So this is what I wrote. I put a little Omega Red card there. I don't know why. I said, I hope we have a good jump box. Call Bunga. Okay, then Eric was next. Hey, put that back down on the table and put your camera down. That w and then just turn it upside down. Spin it around. Yeah, there we go. Spin it around. Live on. on the show, everybody. Yeah, spin it around. That's much that better. Good? Can yeah, you that's see much, it? yeah, that's much better. Okay. Hold on, I got trash. Oh, I forgot to do these. Make sure your penis is away too. So this is for me, Mike McGee. It's for J Dog. It's me. Bathroom of the future on cassette. This is Lil Tim A's band. I don't know. I'm not gonna be able to play this, but you can probably play this. I'll send you a Walkman. So on side A, it's thank you. It smells like shit. <laughs> And I'll kill that plumber. Uh, and on side B is Steven Seagal is the final option. I guess I could just read on the other one. And Idiot's Loop. That's awesome. I'll that's add that to my sweet. collection. Let's, let's look at this tape. That's pretty sweet. It's got a side A. It's got a side B. Two like, sides. It's do two sides. 
Wow. That's the How You Know It's Premium tape. Now, I'm a little disappointed right here. I'll tell you why. Oh, See it's just that a simple right liner notes. That is not 8th grade Mike T. Oh, like I promised. Oh, that's right. It was supposed to be Nerdy Mike. Which is funny because it says, give me some reggae on there, which Mike T would say. That's exactly something you would say, especially back when you were in 8th grade. All right. That's a collector's so, item, Mike. It is. If they ever hit it big, man, that's going to be worth, like... <laughs> at least $8. I don't know, man. Like, I, I was looking at some one cassette. It was um, the Presidents of the United States of America. You remember that band? Yeah. And they had some kind of weird tape like that, and that sold for, like, 130 bucks. But if you, I mean, like, if I had it and they were huge... I wouldn't let go of it for 130 bucks, though. No, well, you don't need 130 But if you needed it for a crack or something, you would. For like a couple grand, sure. Well, no, I'm just saying, no. If you wanted to smoke crack and you had already gone through all your other money, your savings. All right, so you ready? Can you see this okay? I see it perfectly. You're full screen. All right. So, junk box stop number two. This was little Eric T. It says, see you soon, Chris, because he was number three. Chris H. And, and he drew a uh, pretty sweet Super Nintendo here. Pretty good. What's that And called? the game he's playing is called Junk Box. Oh, it's a Junk Box game. That'd be Oops. a very boring game. Eric T., Los Angeles, seven six sixteen. How long ago was that? that was two months almost to the day. Two months to the day. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is him still. It looks this like Chris? his handwriting. Oh, shit. Okay, to read the most retro piece of literature you will see on Cartoon Retrocast, turn the page. You know, let's not, um, we're not going to read all this, but let's, um, we'll we're take pictures not of read it. We'll all this. We'll and take... then he writes a story. And there's the stickers. And there's the stickers, and there's a penis right here. Oh, wait, that is Chris H. Yeah, this is him. He wrote all this stuff. Okay. I'll read it later. And then he says, this is Richard Branson. Looks just like him. You didn't have. You don't have to read that. I, oh Jesus Christ! Look at this one. Everyone Who got was it after Chris H. Brian S. Well, Brian S. So he wrote all this. This was on June or July sixteenth, and on July nineteenth, uh, Scott Lamajama <laughs> wrote some stuff. I gotta read all this actually. You gotta read it. Then that's stop number six. Cap Corporal J Dog Huber. Oh, this is you, Manchester, Maryland. The year, the the place was Manchester, Maryland. The year was July 25th, 2016. <laughs> the men were feeling rather homesick. Okay. And then I pity the fool that don't add good stuff to the junk box. I don't know if this was you. That was me. I've been looking for but that. This is a Mr. T. Puffy sticker. I've been looking for that sticker. <laughs> well, you put it here. I, here put, it I found it. You found it. And then Mike and Jay die. This is definitely you. You put this here. Nope, I didn't do that. Oh, shit. Who nice, did this? Nice beard, though. Look at this. Is that issue number one? Yeah, but look at your beard. Your beard is so small. Uh, yeah, because it was two because months ago. It was like, yeah, it was a month and a half ago. The end of Diamond Elite, so... <laughs> That's pretty good. I don't know what the G.I. Joe bucket is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah, and know. also, look, look at the height difference. <laughs> I'm, I'm as tall as you are. And you got a little little kind of weird, like... <laughs> like alopecia. Like the beginning of alopecia. Like your hair is slowly falling out. <laughs> Not quite all the way yet, but... Ooh, look at this one. This is from Jared. He wrote all this. And who's, oh, cool! What he took and what he added. Oh, sweet! That was eight three though. Who wrote that one? Is that still Jared? I don't know who Jared sent it to? Because that's not the same handwriting. Yeah. I I should look up on the list. Let's oh, let's see. G G, Eric Eric G. Oh yeah, there you go. From B beautiful downtown Reading, Pennsylvania. Here's another one. That's little Mike L. And look at this, the Cartoon Retrocast app. App, I guess. <laughs> or they just. Oh, he's, that's that's his podcatcher. Yeah. His podcast app. And then. You gotta sign your work, guys. Well, we can look it up. Yeah, you have to read so it. So little Tim. So this must have been. Um, 
Who had it before Tim? Uh, Robert VK. No. Yeah, there it is. It says Lil Robert VK right there. Wait a second. So that means that... And then Lil Tim A got it. Well, so then we're missing Justin C. Uh, he didn't, but he didn't have time. Remember, he was like struggling. You know what? I'm okay with that. It's fine. And then that's it. That's it. I'll just put that there. I thought that was pretty fun. I want to, um, hey. it's great. Can you, do you have a, you don't have a scanner, do you? A scanner? Yeah, like. I do. Can you proper, just scan those pages if you get time. Yeah, I'll scan them if I get time. And you don't have to edit them, man. Send me the raw and I'll edit them. All right. Save you time. I'll think about it. Okay. All right, there we go. What's your joke about? Mike, success or not success? I, I mean, I think flaming success. Fla success. I agree. I don't know what you think. Now, ironically, I think I got better stuff. I got better stuff in the junk box last time. Uh, but I think people had more fun this time. So I don't know what you think. I don't know. I th you got some good. I think that, um, you know, I, I had to since I was so early, I was like stop four or five out of 15 or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. I, I just. Hey, brother. I wish I wish I should have went twice. <laughs> <laughs> should have got in there again, like on the twelfth stop well, or something. So what do you think? Are we doing this again, or are we not doing this again? That's, well, look, it's, we gotta take a poll in the Diamond Elite. It's up to the Diamond Elite members. They you know, all again. of them are gonna say yes. Well, I don't know if all of them are gonna say yes. We're gonna ask. We'll set up a poll. So we'll find out. All right. Because though Eric S couldn't get in on it, we got new guys. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, so that's hey there, brother. that's the retro junk box, everybody. Really big retro junk, junk box, box brother. Um, Twenty-two inch pythons. You heard Mike. You heard it straight from the Mike's mouth. It's a success. And I guess we'll see everybody next time. All right then, brother. See you next time, brother. Have a go.